How are you doing? I'm Sean and I bought a Toho Fumu. If you don't know what Toho Fumus are, I'm going to show you images of it. Now when buying Fumus, it's very likely that you would come across bootleg Fumus because of how scarce the resources are. Toho Fumus are really hard to find and when you do find them like you know quite easily on any other websites, it's either fake, it's either bought by scalpers or uh, it's a second hand yet at a really high price. Now the thing is, I found this on um, a Singapore website, Lazada, well I am from Malaysia, so uh, this came from China and uh, yeah, if you want a comprehensive guide on buying Toho Fumos, I'll leave a video link um, here or there. <laughs> and I'll also link you to a specific part of the video where Dubert, who made this Toho Fumo guide, explains on how to indicate of Toho Fumo being a fake or a genuine one. Now without further ado, let's unbox this. Now the thing with the packaging is that uh, it just came like this. It, it came without a particle, like you know, the packaging. I'm quite worried to be honest. I'm gonna try my best to open this box without damaging the product inside it or um, damaging the box itself because I, uh, if it turns out to be a bootleg then I I mean I still want to keep it because I really want a full mode but then again this shouldn't be encouraged. I don't want to encourage anyone to buy bootleg versions of these products you should always buy genuine ones and the genuine ones usually range around 40 USD and I bought this at around that range too in Malaysian's currency it would be around 148 ringgit I think okay now let's just unbox this yeah, this is also my first unboxing video too yeah I gotta be careful too cause last time I almost poked myself in the eye with the scissors if it weren't for my glasses I would've went blind do not open from there? Oops. Okay, yeah, you don't open from there. My bad. I'm trying my best not to damage the box, alright? I don't know what this is called in English. So, uh... Okay, yeah, good thing I did not forcefully open it because the package, the, the, the item is actually right here. So the first thing I see here is a QR code. I'm gonna blur that, of course. <laughs> it reads... Waiting Hi Hi Semin So mean too Yeah I'm not gonna read that <laughs> This is what it looks like I'm still going to blur it And this is what it looks like from behind too You see Yuyuko on the back here And there's Yuyuko Ah he's poorly Ah Am I going to just touch it with my bare hands? What do I mean by that? Yeah, I kinda don't want to dirty it. It looks very genuine. It looks very genuine actually. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it's wrapped really, really poorly. <laughs> but then again, it's all like we're in a pandemic, it's best to just take out the product and wash it anyways. Okay. There's no sign of a... There's no sign of... Oh my god. Can you, can you take off the hat? Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. You can. <laughs> the fur looks... I don't know if you can tell, but the fur looks... Very different from like what you would expect. Like I own a genuine... Nestleberry Maki if you see one of my photos on Instagram like the texture or the feeling of the hair compared to the the Nestleberry hair is very different and uh is this supposed to be that shape? <laughs> well anyway I don't find any stickers like you know the circle thingy that's supposedly attached to a Okay, what what is this? Is this blood? Do you see it? It could be a second hand, I don't know. But it says it's brand new. I've never made a review or a, or an unboxing video before, okay? So uh <laughs> here's what it looks like. It the neck is I hope I don't accidentally tear it off. 
it looks really rig. And this kind of worries me. I'm not sure if I could. I'm not sure if I can try and adjust it. I'm trying to pull the hair back down, but uh, you know, I'm not forcefully pulling it. And uh, like this red stain right here, I'm really not sure what it actually is. I just hope I can wash it off. Yeah, this is my first fumo. <laughs> But it still looks very weird. Like I, like you know, I watch channels like Yumemi and Dober and and quite a few Japanese Toho Fumo channels on YouTube, and I've never seen the hair being this poorly shaped. You can tell that there are creases over here. As for the hat, uh, I really don't have any common. Yeah, it doesn't look as clean. Like I, I'm sure you can't really tell here on the camera but it doesn't really look clean it looks a bit well not dirty but a bit old but it's to be expected because there are a lot of fumos out there that are really old and no one wants to buy them because of how expensive their price at and uh i just noticed a mouth right here yeah i'm kind of having an ocd crisis right now <laughs> uh, there's uh, the skin part of the cotton is sticking onto her mouth right here yeah, you can't focus. Damn it! As for the sewing, like the sewing looks very nice. The sewing or whatever it's called in English looks very well made. This could be a second hand. Like I'm not sure because there's no stickers like you know the circle stickers that you would get when buying a fumo that they're attached to it and like there's no label anywhere. I'm yeah I'm looking like a pervert right now, but then there's there's really no sign of a sticker anywhere. And uh, this part, uh, any Toho Fumo owners, is this supposed to be normal? Like, and this part being detached like this, is this really a bad sign? <laughs> never, like, I don't think I would want to return it because it's really hard to find a Toho Fumo, especially when um, I'm from Southeast Asia. Here's the inside part of the uh, Yuyu Ghost hat. <laughs> Let me try and put it back on. And yeah, here's what it looks like. <laughs> it's very cute. But the red stains kind of put me off. Seriously, the hair quality looks very different. I'm gonna take a picture of this and uh, let you see it right here on the screen. Is this how the hair texture should look like for Jaden Toho Fumo? And uh, yeah, that's about it. Like, there, I still found two more Fumos on uh, other websites which I'm not gonna recommend it just yet because I'm not sure if it's genuine or not. I'm gonna buy it and then uh, make a review of it, then then see if you would be interested in buying it. It's also a black line right here. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, uh, never mind. It, it's it's removable. It's not part of the hat or whatever this is called. Oh no, it has a problem with seeing. You can't see it. You cannot see it. Uh, yeah, the head looks tilted. The head is tilted to the right. But I'm trying to push it in hopes of making it balance. That yeah, that may sound really stupid, but I can't tell if there should be any um, lines right here. Can you see it? Okay, okay, I can now see it. <laughs> I'm gonna. And just camera in a bit. And here's what it looks like. <laughs> Is it genuine or not? I can't really tell anymore because I'm a first time buyer. I've never bought a genuine Toho Fumo before. I've went to anime conventions like uh, two to three times and I've never seen any stalls selling Fumos because I don't think uh, the Fumo culture has reached Malaysia yet. Anyway, if you have any thoughts or comments, please leave it in the comment section below on my YouTube video or uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna post this on Reddit too. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, that's about it, I'm not gonna do my outro. <laughs> Take care!